Hello and welcome to Meow Too with Miki and Adam. Um, so this week we're going to just talk you through how to import to Twin Motion from 3ds Max. I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing this via the synchronizing tool and via direct um, Datasmith files. So okay, here we go. Okay, um, as you can see, we are on the Twin Motion website. Uh, we've got our Datasmith exporter for 3ds Max file, and we're going to be using this with the Twin Motion 2023. So we just basically want to hit download. And um, that will start downloading for us. Okay, so our download is finished. Um, so all you need to do is just click on that um, Unreal Datasmith wizard and follow the next. We want to accept those license agreements. And we just want to make sure we're installing in the right 3ds Max. So ours is 2024, but if you had um, 2023 or an older model, then you'd select that one and just hit install and it will start installing for us. Um, and as you can see, this was installation was completed successfully and we're going to hit finish and done. Okay, welcome back. Um, so what we've gone and done is we've opened up our Twinmotion. We've downloaded the Twinmotion installer into 3ds max and you can see up above on our ribbon um, if we click here go across the data smith and click the little downwards arrow we can see that we've got our options here so this is our little panel that connects twin motion to 3ds max so the next step is actually to go across to twin motion and we're going to import our model into twin motion so if we go across to the import dock um, you'll see here we've got our import options and it's got a little plus and so we're just going to click on this plus and the thing you want to look for is you want to look in the direct lick setting source you want to see the name of the file that we've got that you're working in and that is for us Twinmotion test v01 so that's the file that it's going to link um, and it's got a couple of options here that generally the the standard options are the right ones to do if you want to if you've got a bit more idea about what you want to do you can go and do them but um, for the initial import we're just going to go with the standard settings and you can go back in and adjust them if you need to so we're just going to click import and we've got a bit of a broken link so that basically means that we're going to need to go across and uh, link it through 3ds max so what we'll do now is we'll synchronize and we're going to just click on the synchronize and that should automatically synchronize us over and yep we can see that links been fixed and you can start to see over here in our panel that we've got our our massings so uh, if we scroll over there that's our massings there and um, we're done so another options with the in with the direct sourcing is you can toggle auto sync which basically means that any changes you make here you go uh, and move one of these guys uh, then that will automatically update in your twin motion um, I would only recommend that if you've got a really sort of strong computer and if you're kind of just rolling on the standard sort of op options then I would probably just keep the um, kick the auto syncing off and then just if there's any sort of major changes you can synchronize it again by hitting synchronize but generally once you're in twin motion you want to probably be sort of staying in twin motion and working from there another option with the import so we can actually use a geometry or a lens a point cloud or a landscape these are the other import options so the geometry import might be if you're going to export your file as a um, an Unreal Engine file, so if we click the export here, it comes up as a Datasmith file option. So you might export that as a Datasmith file option. If you're having problems linking it, you could export this file as a Datasmith file option. Then you go across to Twinmotion, you would hit your import button and you would basically select your geometry and then go to open file and it would ask for your data smith file options you can see one that we've chosen before um, and then you just select that and open it 
and the same thing sort of works here. You import it, you've got your sort of standard import options and then you've got your import basically here and it's rendering and it will start to import. And as you can see, and so in your imports, we've got our two import options. So we've got our 3ds Max Twin Motion Test and we've got our UDataSmith, which is the previous file that we've imported and then you can see we're sitting under it so if we move our viewpoint yep, we start to move out oh, this is our file so this is actually really quite good with twin motions you can actually import multiple files from different locations you can see we've got our, our city context that we might have that we've done really quickly in 3ds max and then we've got our design uh, which is showing some pretty wild glass glazing options there so you would probably want to change that in materials um, as you can see down here if we look, we've got some, let's see if we can find some quick glass that we might want to change it to um, the other option would be to um, change the glass in the settings um, yeah, this looks to be the, let's just change that to so you can see we've quickly changed that to concrete uh, or we can change our glass settings here and change the tint and let's change it to a purple yeah there you go um, keep the opacity. yeah so it's looking pretty wild but um yeah so there's some of the options with the importing suit and we can see here same thing applies you can Resync and update your files and the 3ds max one as well once we've got everything all sorted we've got our files linked a good thing would be to do is just to save your twin motion file so you want to go over to file and we want to save as and then just select your twin motion file so this saves it as a twin motion file so we're going to save this as twin motion test v01 um, and that saves the twin motion and that way when you want to go back into it or make any changes to, in terms of material patterns or anything like that uh, we can recall this file and all our links will be there and all we need to do is just update them if necessary okay and that's all so thanks for watching and uh, until next time